We're just trying to change the world here, people. Oh, really? And welcome back to O'Reilly Radio 135F, the recorded Friday, December 9th, 2016, where we dismantle the current events for your entertainment through mostly rational conversations that make you go, oh, really? We're going to throw out all the rational conversations now, though, because now we're just into picks and whatever the heck we want to do. I'm your host, Andy Cowan, with my usual suspects. I've got Stephen Griffith and Daniel Atherton. And tonight we've got uh, we got some interesting little things uh, to share with you. I've got... Uh, got a neat one here let me see what i can do about uh actually getting over to share that somehow over to i know i got that around here somewhere gosh darn it this one there it is okay so let me uh move things around now uh what is the thing that i'm sharing there there it is okay so it's called warbler Today I'm going to show you how to make a full coverage oh, well, cosplay out of Warbla, like the one I made for my Mercy cosplay. Okay, I'm going to... For this, you will need Warbla, a heat gun, and a dress That's form. not the one I wanted. You can find Warbla on cosplaysupplies.com. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. That sort of works. Okay. And play. I got my dress form on okay. Amazon. Okay. So while she's talking about it, I'm going to, going to jump in here, too. So, uh, Warbla products can be cut with regular scissors, drawn on, um... With a pen, marker, sanded, hot glued, painted with anything from acrylics to spray paint. Uh, You you shape the the warbler. uh, There's a bunch of different types. uh, But you shape it with a heat gun to loosen it up and then kind of work it over whatever item you kind of want to replicate as a form. Um, So so a heat gun works best, but uh, hot water, steam... Uh, or even your oven can be used, and then Before you can cut relief the in with the uh, with a hot knife go. that's recommended, or power tools is dr- like a Dremel. You could use that as well. Um, some things a heat gun and oven are necessary, but you can even use like a soldering iron to to carefully cut designs and edges and all sorts of things with. In this video, she's just using a um, a heat gun press form. Well, she yeah, dress form. she's using two different dress forms to make the bodice portion Once of her costume. Completely, you can easily remove it from your form. Okay, that's I cool. Yeah. Form to smooth the details I didn't it's basically the like vacuum forming, this might not be but with just heat. You, depending on what type of armor you're making. Nearly boiling levels of heat. Yeah. Pretty darn hot. Yeah. So I, I'm I, impressed that she's able to touch it so soon after, considering I was reading the on the site. It's yeah, you know, it becomes Draw pliable at 90 C, which is 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it is quite I'm impressive. Going either, either it Once stays functional while it cools down quickly, rest, or she has pregnant. lost all feeling I in her hands as, and as a, you know, DR5 versus fire. <laughs> yeah, she, a little she, bit she, both. She very well may have lost all 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 uh, feeling in her fingertips. Like uh, you know, people that work in restaurants that they often will say that they have asbestos fingers and just grab that pan right out and not even care. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to do. If she like, does this all the time, Next. very possible. I used to do hot wax I'm casting for jewelry, and yeah, when you get that hot wax place. pouring off the mold onto your hands, eventually you just stop feeling it. It just becomes nice and warm and homey. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. It's like, oh, that's fine. <clears throat> It's like, oh, yep, I missed. Okay, <laughs> whatever. I painted my finished piece with Rust-Oleum's appliance epoxy in white. It's, uh, it's, that Rust-Oleum uh, appliance epoxy also leaves a really nice finish. You can see here in the video. That is nice. You know, oh, it's so shiny. Very nice, very nice. But that's the finished product right there. Uh, you know, for, for cosplayers, this stuff is phenomenal. And I I'm looking at this now. Going, okay, I'm now going to start getting more into cosplay. Again. I know, yeah, like, oh, it, and I that would be fantastic. Yeah, that'd be fantastic for doing, you know, full actual armors and, uh, you know, replication of of things. You might judge dread armor, or just doing armor pieces like uh, yeah. a pauldron here or there, gauntlets or whatever, what have you. So it's a it's a pretty darn cool thing, and uh, you can find the product and where to buy it at warblood.com. W O R B L A dot com, and also uh, I've got a link in the show notes, and also a link to that uh, to that video, which is actually they liked what she did so much they actually used her as the example on their own web page. So uh, that was cool. 
Okay, so let's see. What else we got here? Paperback Paradise. Stephen, this is the thing I've this? run across a number of times over the years. Um, it, they have a Facebook page now. It's all those old books, primarily like the old Harlequin, like teen books. Oh, gosh, and those, rom- yeah. Bodice Ripper romance novels. Yeah. And they've taken them and have decided to retitle them, essentially. Oh, dear. Like, okay. And the titles all tend to be very funny or just creepy as hell. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Barbara Butternut from Ragtime to Bone Time. That's a that great one's cover, about too. The, uh, that one, the Give Me Back My Baseball. <laughs> it's a man spooning his pregnant wife. Basketball. As you in, you've got you've got it under there, yeah. Wow. I keep screwing that one up. I like, yeah. <laughs> but it's all these, like, the old-time art, like, you'd see in these old books, like, the old 80s, 70s, 60s yeah. books, and it's just, and some of them are very famous series. Yeah, the Boxcar and, Children, yeah, that's that's a big one. And they've just retitled them. The yeah, False, false Idol Sinners. sinners. <laughs> Wrestle me for America, you thieving white. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that next one. Um, five gold for an arcane hand job. <laughs> oh, yeah, these are nice. Very good, very good. Uh, oh, Pilgrim tit. Okay, that's good. Grandpa, hey, tr- tell me again about President Trump. <laughs> Or the picture of a space woman being attacked by essentially a space pterodactyl. That is a space pterodactyl. just trying to have a good time tonight. I am fucking tripping. <laughs> Ronald Reagan in Does That Come With a Two Liter of Pepsi? Hardy, Boy, Hardy Boys number 23. Fuck you, Dad. Yep. <laughs> Again, it's all ones like that. I just I will spend just like an hour on this and just <laughs> dying laughing because they're just Oh, wow. Well. You were always a piece of shit, Father. Bye. Bunder Muffleduff. Wow. <laughs> Boxcar, say you're sorry. Holding a kid off the golf cliff. <laughs> Obviously, yep. I'm saving him, but no. No. When, when looked Sweet at that. Valley Twins, murder pact. Oh, geez. You're, you're much further ahead than I am. Okay, oh, let's... oh, yes. I read quick. <laughs> R.L. Stein, Goosebumps. I jerked it too much. Harry Palms. Yeah, nice. Oh, animals dear. that owe me money. North American mammals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one I love too, Andy. Oh, <laughs> no, let's see. I, I think this one. Yep. The Hardy Boys. There. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sailing a tiny boat into a massive storm. Yep. Yeah, that one. Yep. Always good. Always good. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, that one I love. Hardy Boys number 58. It's all the people on the beach running, screaming. There's an explosion in the background. The title they made for this book is Fucking Run, The Sun's Exploded. I love when they <laughs> zoom in on, on the people, too. Just like, oh, geez. <laughs> some, some great artwork on these covers, I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah, he Facebook just ate page. a whole bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. Go to uh, their Facebook page, Paperback Paradise. And oh, this is... Um, especially if you've read any of these books, you will just die laughing, going, yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of appropriate. <clears throat> I'm just going to leave this one up for the rest of the show right it, there. It has nothing to do with any of the stories or anything in these books. They're no. going entirely off of cover art. Yeah. It cool if my parrot watches. Harlequin <laughs> Romance. Whoa. Oh, my. (laughs) Yeah, I can't even. I can't even. You'll just have to go look, folks. Most of these would not be considered safe for work or children. Page has been liked. Just warning you. (laughs) Oh, the Hardy Boys ones are so good. They're so good. Okay, moving, moving along. Paperback Paradise. All right, Daniel, t- you you've, you have a more sane one, much more uh, sane. I, 
I have a little, slightly more PG one. Um, uh, in in following somewhat up with our uh, last last episode, one thirty four. Mm-hmm. Uh, my my pick is uh, a Pathfinder the RPG, uh, and partially uh, Paizo the the company that owns it. Um, their website you can buy direct from them. It is lovely. Um, also, they have through the website uh, subscriptions. If you're really into their uh, what the, what they do, um, there's one for the primary system books. There's also subscriptions for Pathfinder Adventures, which is uh, most of their modules. There's a subscription service, and every time they come out with a new one, it it just auto debits and they send it to you and usually on top of physical copy you get the pdf for free so dangerous um there's also ones for like one that i was subscribed to for a long while was uh they had these adventure card decks so if you're doing item cards came came fully equipped with item cards uh as well as um like critical hits, critical fails. There's decks instead of just using the usual two times or three times. They give you different effects based upon the weapon that you're wielding. I like um, this. It's a pocket edition of the uh, of the core rule book. Of yeah. the core book, yeah. No, that's they, they, beautiful. They have, I love those. They have so much stuff on the site. So much fun stuff. Um, and it's not just them. They also work as a site for. A number of third-party publishers, um, Dice, Mats, you name it, they've got it. Um, and w- 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 with with the upcoming Roll for Initiative, uh, <laughs> I figured might might as well put this out there for for the community to take a gander, take a look. Um, if you're familiar at all with 3.5 D and D, Pathfinder is essentially 3.75. Um, Slight improvements across the board, um, a simplification, and the thing that I probably love the most is that it's unlike three five, which was after fifth level. Why aren't you prestige classing? Uh, there's a reason to stay in your class full twenty levels, and they just make it so that there are variants on the classes. So you could be your your standard generic fighter. Or instead, you could be a cad. All of a sudden, you are the master of the dirty trick. Um, you could be a somebody who specializes in two-handed weapons or fighting with two weapons. Um, and every class has has their variants. Um, one of my personal favorites is for the bard. Almost nobody plays bards. It's but you called should. the archaeologist. It's called the archaeologist. Um, that belongs in museum. Uh, <laughs> it, it takes a lot of um, what you get as a bard, a lot of the knowledge stuff and some of the spell casting, but gets rid of all that performing music stuff. Sacks all that, you become more of sort of a rogue hybrid, and it's a load of fun to play. And there's so many cl- actual base classes. Um, you have stuff that ranges from the very urban vigilante um, to classes like uh, exploring, you know, one's direct connection to deities with the Oracle. Uh, there's also the entire thing with occult adventures, which explores all sorts of psychic stuff. Um, there's something for everybody. There's a lot published now, so there's a bit a lot to consume. Or you can make it incredibly easy for yourself and your players and just go... Core rule book only. It, it's what you feel is appropriate for you. Uh, and with the PFSRD, which was my pick last week, mm-hmm. um, combined with the, the Paizo site, you can purchase what you want. And everything else you have the SRD for. Um, so between both of them, you and your players can can definitely sit down and get something done and have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, and definitely with... Uh... With the advent of, of Roll Initiative uh, coming in, in 2017 uh, to, uh, to a podcasting network near you, 
yeah, this is definitely stuff that uh, that we're going to use, um, and we're going to have some fun with it too. Uh, I, I will wait. give one last shout out to um, again one of my favorite things with with Pathfinder is if you are a relatively new DM or a relatively new group of players, they have all these wonderful like three to six part installment miniseries uh, adventures pre-published that will guide you through uh, a full series of story arcs. Um, you, you get a mini meta plot and you get all these arcs through these, this small collection of books. Um, and then you have the companions guides that go with it. If you want to go even deeper with your, with you as an ST and for your players, mm -hmm. there's even more content. Um, and it's all relatively affor affordable. Um, personal favorites are Rise of the Rune Lords, which if you're playing a low-level starting game, um, it puts the fear of goblins back in you. It's where they started. Um, but f for further down the line, I, I have a particular soft spot for both uh, Hell's Rebels, Strange Aeons, and uh, I believe it's uh, Curse of the Crimson Throne. So all of those are 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 a whole lot of fun, and I suggest everybody take take a good solid look at them if you're feeling like you and your friends want to enjoy some fancy RPGs. Absolutely, and we certainly will be doing so rather soon. And uh, I'm looking right here <clears throat> the Pathfinder role playing game beginner box so that right there 35 bucks for the print edition 10 bucks to add add the pdfs um if you want a, a used one they've got those the non-mint editions for 27 um you know if that was under my christmas tree when i was a young lad oh my goodness that would have been a fun time so, um, just, you know, maybe, you know, get game for uh, two to five players, roughly. Uh, if you go more than that, then, you know, may whatever Lord you worship have mercy on whatever you call a soul. Uh, because, boy, does it get a little difficult. I've run 16 people before. <clears throat> That's LARP numbers. That was, and I did a LARP with 35 that was hard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I think I think largest attendance for the LARP that I run was it was it was, rough. It was difficult. But uh, yeah, so um, in this in this it has a sixty four page hero's handbook, the ninety six page game master book, sixteen page transition guide to bring your hero to the full Pathfinder role playing game, complete set of seven dice, uh, more than eighty full color pawns depicting diverse heroes and monsters uh four pre-generated character sheets so you can just bam go ready let's play here's your sheet go uh four blank character sheets so you can make your own and a durable reusable double-sided flip mat play surface that works with any kind of marker so yeah that you could do a whole lot worse for 35 bucks this is not only uh, a great game, but is it can be a lifelong diversion <laughs> into uh, creativity and, you know, get, get them off the screen and get them into their own imaginations. This is a way to do it. And, uh, you know, you can run a game for your kids. Or kids, run a game for your adults. Honestly, it's Could a great fun. way to just attack creative thinking. Think outside the box. Also, it, it remedial math skills. You'll always be constantly adding, subtracting. Yeah. It make it gets this working. It ma it makes it all exercise. It's good. Yeah. There's nothing bad about it. Uh, trust me, we're not going to be uh, summoning demons or anything like that. They're not going to come out of the come out of the 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 pages, and they're not going to you know suddenly become demon worshippers or anything like that. This the satanic panic edition. is over, folks. It's over. It's done. Don't do that. This isn't first edition. 
<laughs> Hang on, let me get my fiend folio. It's right over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's it. That's a wrap. So that's it for tonight. We'll be back live next Friday about 9.30 p.m. Eastern on the webpage uh, where you can watch and chat with us live. Uh, Mama Van was with us earlier before she had to had to depart. Um, so thank you very much for being out there and, uh, and always following us. Until then, let's keep the conversation going. Head over to O'ReillyRadio.com. That's O-R-L-Y-R-A-D-I-O.com. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, if you're still doing that thing. And subscribe to the podcast for the audio version and YouTube for the and the Twitch channels for the video version. Of course, you can watch us live and join in the chat, all from the webpage. If you've enjoyed what we do here, you'd like to help us out, there are four ways. You can donate to the show through patreon.com slash O'Reilly Radio and get early access to the full show content. Uh, also, leave some reviews on iTunes. That helps us grow the show and gain audience. Also, tell your friends. Tell people about the show, about where you heard about that one thing, about the, the money and the pallets and all that fun stuff. You know, t- tell them. Tell them about that. Uh, and, of course, engage with us. Send us a message on social media or the electronic mail machine at O'ReillyRadioPodcast at gmail.com. Or, if you're the more talkative sort, we would love to hear your voice. 470-222-6759. It's always ready to take your call or your text. Thank you for choosing to waste your valuable time on us. This has been O'Reilly Radio, part of the Random Acts Company. This work licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 United States license, with the exception of the music, which was created by Kevin McLeod of Incomptech.com, who holds the copyright there, too. Thank you, everyone. Good night. <laughs>